Okay guys, I'm just going to do one more little example just for fun while I'm talking to you about the next steps. The next step you are going to take after your fun little experimentation day is you are going to be starting to plan out your square one art project. Now your square one art project, that's the project where you get a whole sheet of stickers for finishing the project and it's also the project where um, your parents or grandparents or whoever can buy all the fun things with your artwork on it. So it's a really special project, it's an important project and this is the last one that you're going to do at school with us this year. So make it really, really special. You're going to get lots of examples at your tables. Um, obviously your artwork isn't going to look any, like any of the examples exactly anyways. But just some ideas to inspire you. You're going to be turning your Zentangles into something bigger. Or turning that something bigger into Zentangles, however you want to look at it whether it's an animal, a flower, some other thing that you've got, you have an idea, I know that we've got some really cool feather examples too. So there's really, the options are endless of what you could do. As long as you plan it out, and you'll be doing a sketch ultimately and planning it out and getting it approved too, to make sure it's gonna work. Um, but that's gonna be coming up and coming soon. And again, this is just our experimentation day to kind of figure out what's going on. Now, oh, notice this last one. I did kind of a little circle. Well, it's not a perfect circle. And all I was doing is repeating little raindrop shapes over and over and over and just having fun with those. And I might go through in each one of these little raindrop shapes and do a little line in the center. See how that looks. I'm filling in just a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop that one. Um, I'm kind of liking where that's going though. Um, again, I could go in with a pencil and add some shading to these. That actually, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to tell you about that. And you're going to see also um, adding some color pops would look really, really nice to these. Keeping them mostly black, white, and gray, but with just a little bit of color looks really, really nice. And by the way, guys, here's some examples of a couple of um, Zentangles I've done in the past. So you can see this is just more of like a, a plant in a vase, and you can see the pokey leaves in there. And I did the background doing little circles and then filled in all that negative space. I really like the leaves and also the shading in the leaves as well. And notice also the little branches or the vines or the stems coming up, that's the word I'm looking for, with the little dot on the end, and it's kind of the swirl. And notice also, I don't know if you can see, but the little dots going around at the top almost looks like a little bee sw uh, swarming around those. This is a really, really fun little exercise to do. Four dots in pencil, connect the four dots with a wavy line, and then I did three lines with pencil within, and then that kind of marked out my sections for my Zentangles, and then I did my Zentangles. This isn't finished. This is just what I was doing a couple years ago, having fun. I started with that pokey leaf, and then I started turning it into some kind of a crazy looking garden beetle. Um, again, he's not done, but this is just something I was working on and having fun with. Thought you might like to see. You'll be getting a lot of examples at your tables. Have a blast with this. I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks, guys.